I have had an incredible journey as a professional athlete. It all started much differently than it ends. Did you know that I lost more than half of my fight against the school bullies? I never won gold in point karate competition. When I had my first jiu-jitsu class, I got tapped out five times in five minutes by a guy that I outweighed by like 30 pounds. It broke me mentally so badly that at the time, I wanted to quit everything right there on the spot. In my first wrestling competition in the United States, I got pinned in less than a minute in the first match. It really sucks to lose sometimes. Some experience can be taught, other need to be lived in order to improve. And I learned in my life, for me, that failure was my greatest teacher of all. Have a good weekend. Hello, here's a question. Why was George St. Pierre unstoppable? One of the wrestling coaches that I've worked with told me that GSP used to train wrestling secretly at the same institute as him, that he completely took his competition by surprise training high-level wrestling and telling no one about it. And of course, GSP himself had said that it did not matter who the wrestler was, what their accolades were, using his karate base to enter, he'd blitz in, or use karate forward to completely catch his opponents off guard. He literally took down everybody. Both inside and outside the arena, they did not know how to handle his level of wrestling, nor were they able to properly prepare for the weird karate timing he'd use for his actual shot. He was just a puzzle armed with layers of hidden knowledge advantages. St. Pierre and his coach Faraz Ahabi, they're absolute masterminds. If you look at George St. Pierre's actual style, it's obvious that not everyone can do what George St. Pierre was doing. To have the capacity to intermingle so many different styles and to have those layers upon layers of looks executed so seamlessly, that was a remarkable talent in and of itself. Having the mental and physical capacity to handle such a massive tool belt of skills that would have given even Batman a run for his money. But here's where George St. Pierre is truly special. Despite failing more times than he could count, despite wanting to quit from that crushing feeling of his own inadequacy, he did not. Just imagine how many people who, after a few tries, felt that this was just not for them. Or even worse, how many people who never even started due to that initial fear of rejection, that fear of being crushed by that sense of inadequacy before it even happens. But here's another truth. Anyone who's ever been good at anything was first a man or woman who was crushed by their own inadequacy many times. That's just it. The difference between George St. Pierre and the most talented person you know is not talent. GSP still knows plenty of people on any given day that could not only school him in the respective craft, but I'm sure even in his there are people who have their day. You cannot be the best, the best fighter on the planet. There will always be one guy that will beat you. And it, and and I know some people will say, no, it's not true, but if you've trained with many different training partners, with different people, you'll find out it's true, you know? Hmm. There's guys that are better than you, maybe they're not fighting, but if you if you fight them in the gym, you'll see that they're gonna beat you. It's like that, you know? It's it, it's That's how the world works, you know? There is no better guy. Truly, that is the difference between a winner and a loser. A loser is someone who gets discouraged easily, thus just stops then and there. The winner is someone who feels that same discouragement, but instead improves little by little by standing back up and trying again. That is the difference which forges a legendary consistency towards attaining each victory. It's not failure, it's in handling failure, because it's never been that the greats never fail. Instead, they just handle their failure very differently. And that has always been all the difference. Till that end, thank you 
George St. Pierre for this lesson. Thank you.